Kim, Claire and Jessie, thank you so much for joining me today. <laughs> thank you for having us. Now, you three are part of a cast dancing a really iconic ballet. Jessie, won't you introduce us to it? Uh, so we're dancing in Giselle, and it's one of the uh, most iconic classical ballets uh, in the repertoire. 170 years old, that's extraordinary. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very old production, but um, the production that we do is obviously updated to keep with current standards, and uh, yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't tell at all that it's a very old ballet. So tell us about your character. Uh, I play Albrecht, and I fall in love with a peasant girl, uh, despite being betrothed to a duchess. How scandalous. Yes. And, and in, in fact, I'm, I think last time we were speaking, it was, or, or one of the, the previous times we were speaking, was about uh, La Solfide, and it was also somebody else who was already betrothed, falling in love yes. with someone else. Yeah, very it's similar. Been here yeah, with yeah. the Cape Town City Palais. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I actually end up breaking her heart, and uh, she dies of that. But, uh, <laughs> Less about that. How awful. <laughs> Claire, you get your heart broken and you die all in the first act, as I understand it. Yes, yeah, she actually goes mad and dies. So it's quite an intense end to the first act, um, as opposed to the second act, which is calm and um, ghostly. So it's a very different, um, there are two very different sides to a character that you have to bring out. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a really iconic role, and it's the first time you're dancing um, in this particular role. Tell us about your character. So Giselle is a young peasant girl, and she's very innocent. She's been brought up in um, a very loving, simple home, and she falls in love with this young guy who has appeared in the village, and she doesn't know that he's actually of the court. So she thinks they're going to get married and live happily ever after. and. Um, he's sort of playing her, but um, and then he gets found out, and she finds out about him being betrothed to someone else, and she's so innocent that she she can't really grasp this, and she actually goes mad and she dies because she has a heart condition pre-existing to all this, so she's already a little bit frail, and the knowledge of his betrayal is too much, so she dies. Okay, this can't be an easy role to dance. Um, she's sick, she goes mad, she dies. It's a lot of things going on. How, how do you manage? Um, you just have to be really clear about your intentions within each section. So the first section, you know, she's a little bit sickly, but she's still fine. She, she doesn't really realize how weak she is. She thinks she's strong and capable, and her mother's always telling her, please don't dance, you're gonna, you know, fall ill because your heart's not strong and she thinks, ah, you know, mother's just being overprotective. Um, so the, the first section is very easygoing and light and um, then she meets Albrecht and it gets a bit more intense and a bit more emotional but, you know, she's falling in love and it's one of the best days of her life and then comes the betrayal and that's, it's a very heavy section to do and you have to really dig deep and find those dark emotions. And the mad scene, I enjoy doing. Um, it's interesting psychologically, but um, yeah, it's hard and finally she dies. Kim, you play a queen, but not the, the type of queen that lives in a castle. Tell us a little bit more about your role. Okay, well, um, yes, I'm the queen of the Willies. The Willies. Of the Willies, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Willies are um, a bunch of young maidens, actually, who get jilted um, on their wedding day. So as um, Giselle here, who's um, been jilted by um, yeah, her, her lover, um, we end up appearing at night, basically, and um, all those young men that come and lay flowers down at the graves, uh, basically the queen and, and the willies, um, their revenge is that these young men have to dance until they die. So, um, but my character is very strong. Um, she loves to see uh, the young guys dance until they die. She's quite evil as well. Um, uh, but yeah, she, she's, Everyone follows her, so what she says goes. Um, and it's quite um, a heavy role because uh, you have to jump a lot. So um, 
you have to yeah, just prepare yourself. Um, also, you're not normally in the first act, which means you have to warm up backstage and get your body ready for um, that kind of um, heavy um, role. But um, I think the acting with the jumping, um, for me, I love. I'm, I'm that type of dancer. And uh, yeah, I, I really enjoy dancing uh, with these two. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, just enjoying the story of being that um, that queen and actually being the yeah the boss of it all, <laughs> an yeah. evil boss but still yes, boss. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is it fun to to get to play a darker, more villainous yes. role? Absolutely, because for me, uh, my personality, I'm I'm quite a light personality, so. Um, I think there is a darkness to all of us, and I think that's nice to be able to bring it out um, on stage, um, but not have people kind of, you know, in your everyday life going, oh, she's like dark, <laughs> dark and nasty. You, know? you can actually do it once off, and people can say, oh, yeah, actually. <laughs> but a word I like about that. Genius. Yeah, absolutely. So it's enjoyable. Jesse, so you're part of the Cape Town City Ballet, you all are, but you're also dancing with members of the Royal London Ballet, if I understand that correctly. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, we've got two guest artists coming from the Royal Ballet in London, and uh, they are Frederica Bonelli and Hikaru Kobayashi, and they've danced with us before in Cape Town, uh, in Swan Lake, I think last year, and uh, they're only doing two performances. So that will be very exciting. That is very exciting. Tell us a little bit about some of the challenges in, in your role. Um, are, are there any particular portions that are particularly difficult or any that you really love doing? Well, it's a very uh, tough role uh, in terms of stamina. It's, it's, it's very, uh, there's not much breaks in, in the choreography. So it goes straight from beginning to end without having a rest. And uh, especially the second act, it, it's very tough. But I, I enjoy it because it's very dramatic as well. So if anybody sees you after the performance and you're utterly exhausted, that's yeah. why. Yeah, exactly. It's part of the character. <laughs> <laughs> Claire, do you have a favorite portion to dance? Not really. I, it's so different. And I like both sections. I love the first act because there's a lot of acting. And I enjoy the sort of dramatic acting. And then the second act is very serene and beautiful choreography. And you get to be you know, slow and controlled and completely different. So I can't really choose between the two. <laughs> Kim, I'm going to ask you the same question. Do you have a favorite portion? I think the beginning um, of Act Two, there's a bit of mist um, coming up while the curtains are going up. And that's our first entrance where we just bore across the, yeah, across the stage. I think that, and hearing the music is quite, with this black audience in front of you as well, and you're kind of thinking in your mind, well, how can I portray this? I think that's my favorite, as well as the jumping, which I love, and also telling Jesse to die. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And dance and to see his face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. Well, we won't give away too much. I think if our viewers want to find out if Jesse dies, they're going to have to watch it. And if they want to, um, where do we get tickets? And when is it running, Jesse? Uh, so we open next week on Friday the 25th of September uh, at the Artscape Opera House and we run until the 4th of October and you can get tickets at CompuTicket or Artscape Dala Seat. Well thank you so much for joining us today and best of luck with the performances. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much.